Our last problem in class was the one that I just dictated to you and you were supposed to make up the equation. So calcium carbonate is uh, decomposing into carbon dioxide and calcium oxide and we figured out that calcium oxide has a formula CaO because the charge in calcium is plus 2, the charge in oxygen is 2 minus. So that's calcium oxide. We have as a result of this reaction that takes place at 22 degrees Celsius at one atmosphere, we get 3.45 liters of carbon dioxide. And we need, to, we need to know the mass of calcium CO3 that decomposed. In order to know the number of mm, grams, we need to know the number of moles. And the number of moles we can find if we know the liters, the volume. And then from this equation, you see that the ratio is 1 to 1, which tells me that the number of liters of calcium CO3 is exactly the same. It's 3, 4, 5 liters. So in order to figure out the number of moles, I'll just use PIVNERT. So, um, so you have PV equals NRT, and I need to find N, which is the number of moles. So I'll take PV, and I will divide it by RT. PV equals NRT, so you rearrange it, PV over RT. P is one atmosphere as given. Um, we figured out that the number of liters is 3, 4, 5, 1 to 1. And then R is the usual 0 0.0021. Uh, and since it's 22 degrees Celsius, you add 273 to it, you end up with 298. So the number of moles of calcium carbonate is 0 0.141 moles. And if I know the number of moles, and I know what substance I'm dealing with, I can figure out the number of grams if I just multiply the number of moles by molar mass. Molar mass, we get it from our periodic table. Calcium has 40.08 grams per mole. Uh, cal uh, carbon is 12.11, and then we have three oxygens. E each oxygen is 16. 16 times 3 is 48. So this whole thing in parentheses is my molar mass for calcium carbonate. So that's grams per one mole, and I'm dealing with 0 .1, 0.1 for one moles of calcium carbonate. So I multiply those, and that ends up with 14.1 grams. And so that is what you have in your homework, a uh, problem like this.